I am going to install pinless accumulator pistons. So, for example, this is a 1 2 accumulator. Uh, this one here still has the factory piston. That piston is actually plastic. So, in this case, just switching to the pinless would be considered an upgrade simply for the fact that it is aluminum, right? These guys are notorious for cracking around the boss on the inside and causing a slow leak. So if you have a second gear that feels a little sluggish and then goes in with a bang, that can definitely be your problem. If your transmission has been rebuilt before, you might have a cast aluminum piston instead of the plastic one. In which case, that's why I was kind of hesitating to call it an upgrade. This design, honestly, as long as there's no wear on the pin between the pin and the piston, and you can't find like feel any groove with your fingernail, this design technically works just as good as a pinless one, right? Uh, so the whole principle, the pin, like the factory design, uses the pin to guide the piston up and down, whereas on a pinless, your pistons are gonna look like this. Basically, we're relying on the same principle as the pistons inside of an engine. Instead of having a pin in the middle to guide your piston, you're relying on the skirt to guide the piston in the bore. So your piston's gonna come with a couple of check balls. We'll put these aside for now. And it'll come with two seals. The square cut O-ring goes near the top of the piston. And then the bottom one is one of those Teflon ones again, so you kind of have to stretch it a little bit around, so be careful, take your time. Back to shape. And there you go. Now, as far as the 3-4 accumulator, the one that's in the body of the transmission, and the forward accumulator, the one that's inside the valve body itself, uh, the pin in those is just a blind hole, so you can simply remove the pin, remove the piston, and put this guy back in in its place. Uh, the order in which you put them may vary between years and applications. Some of them want you to put the piston this way or that way, put the spring on one side or the other. So follow the instruction based on the year and application that you are using. However, for this guy, because it's a plastic piston and because this one is not a blind hole, uh, there's a little more involved. So for the one, two accumulator, you're going to need a block of wood with a hole in it. You're going to line up this hole so that it's centered above the hole in your piece of wood. You're going to find a small spring pin punch that fits loosely inside that hole. And then you can drive the pin out. Like so. If I'd have been smart, I'd have pushed my piston out first. A little bit of compressed air in this hole will push the piston out. There we go. Let me just clean the inside of this. Now, at this point, this is where our check balls come in. The instruction want us to pick the appropriate size check ball based on the size of our pin, which in, case, in this case would be the small one, and it says to only use this check ball and you're supposed to press it inside where the pin was because that, like we said, is not a blind hole. You do not want that to leak. And it says in the instruction that only this check ball is the appropriate size to plug that hole. You know what else is the right size? This thing. So what I like to do, forget the check balls, I'm just going to cut about maybe a quarter an inch off the end of this pin and press it like back in the hole, smear it with red Loctite first, press it back in the hole, and I'll be right back.
And then whether you use the uh, check ball or the end of the pin, the instructions recommend staking the aluminum to make sure that doesn't come out. Uh, the best thing I found for that is a T45 uh, Torx spit. Rust is optional. So the Torx spit doesn't quite go in the hole. As you can see, it, can, it makes six lovely, evenly spaced little stakes at once. So that pin's not coming back out of there. And now we can put it back together. Again, based on your year and application, it might make you put it in a different order. Mine being a more modern version, goes with the dome side of the piston upward. A little bit of assembly goop will make my job easier. and it should spring back and forth. So that's it for my one, two. And like I said, the three, four in the body and the forward one in the valve body is actually the same, except you don't have to block off the pin because it's a blind hole. And that's all there is to it. Might as well put our three, four accumulator piston in here. So again, a little bit of grease. And again, same as before, the square cut O-ring near the top of the piston, the Teflon seal at the bottom. Again, this one, depending on application, can go either way. And like I said, this pin is a blind hole, so you just remove the pin. You don't have to plug up any holes down there. So for my modern application, I'm supposed to put it this way. Some will have a spring, some don't. Mine had a spring, so I'm putting the spring back.